Hello and welcome to Geography Rocks. In today's video we're going to consider how to use figures in our responses. It's likely that you will have photographs and newspaper articles presented to you in your exam paper and you will be asked to comment on them. Let's take a look at some of the figures we might see. Figure 8, a photograph. Figure 9, a short newspaper extract. It's important that we take a moment to familiarise ourselves with both of these figures. In the top figure, we can see a photograph taken after a disaster and we can see people receiving medical treatment and medical aid. Figure 9 is a newspaper article. It's tempting to look straight to the question, but we must spend a moment looking at that article. Let's read it. A US Navy aircraft carrier is expected to reach Haiti in a couple of days and a number of smaller vessels are already in the area, US defence officials said. Rahiv Shah, one of the US Agency for International Development, you said, said US teams were on their way to Haiti with specialist rescue equipment and that some efforts were already underway on the ground. So from that, basically I know, a Navy aircraft carrier is on its way and there's some specialist rescue equipment also heading out to Haiti to help with the earthquake rescue. Let's take a look at the exam question that we might be presented with. Using figures 8 and 9 and your own knowledge, describe the immediate responses to support areas affected by earthquakes. I need to focus now on the photo and the newspaper article and just think about immediate responses. Let's take a look. Short term, we need to keep people alive. So we've got medical care being issued to those victims. That is immediate response to support Haiti, the area affected by the earthquake. The newspaper article, specialist rescue equipment is on its way. That too is an immediate response to help keep people alive and help find people who may be trapped. I now need to turn my attention to my own knowledge. So what do I know? Having studied Chile and Nepal, I've got some facts up my sleeve that I can use in my exam response. I remember that in Chile, a road was repaired within 24 hours. It was a main road. Power and water was restored in just 10 days. In Nepal, Helicopters for search and rescue were deployed and supply drops were also put in place to get to those places that were quite remote or hard to reach. Oxfam were widely active in the days after the earthquake. Now let's put all of that together in a response and see what it looks like. Keep in mind I need to report on figure 8, figure 9 and my own knowledge. Let's take a look. Figure 8 shows medical treatment being given to the survivors of the Haiti earthquake. It is important that survivors get treated quickly as it can reduce implications from developing. The newspaper article states that the US teams were on their way with specialist search and rescue equipment. This equipment helped find injured people in the aftermath of Haiti and reduce the death toll. An immediate response after the Chilean earthquake was that the main road was repaired after just 24 hours, which enabled emergency services to reach victims quickly. Water was restored in just 10 days, which prevented a higher death toll. In Nepal, important immediate responses, including helicopters dropping much needed medical or food supplies to cut off areas, and Oxfam who supplied immediate help to the victims. I have clearly used figure eight, I have then referred to the newspaper article and then I've made sure that I use the phrase immediate response a couple of times in my answer, therefore showing the examiner I am focused on the question that they have posed. I've included the name Chilean earthquake and Nepal so that they know that I'm using my own knowledge. Let's take a look at another question. Use figure 5 and 6 as well as your own knowledge to describe the primary effects of tropical storms. Again, I've got a picture. And in that picture I can see that homes and buildings have been destroyed or damaged. There's widespread flooding. People will be trapped in homes or killed. 
The article states, The effects of Hurricane Katrina in August 2005 were catastrophic and widespread. It was one of the deadliest natural disasters in US history, leaving at least 1,836 people dead and a further 135 missing. I've got information about the primary effects from the photograph. There's flooding, there's damage. I've got primary effects from the newspaper article. Nearly 2,000 people dead and over 130 people missing. Let's add in some of our own knowledge. Typhoon Haiyan that hit the Philippines saw 90% of Taclaban destroyed by a storm surge. 40,000 homes were destroyed, over 6,000 people were killed and 400 millimetres of rain caused extensive flooding in the area. I've used figure 5, I've used figure 6, I've added a splash of my own knowledge. Let's see what that response will look like. A primary effect of Hurricane Katrina shown in figure 5 is that there is widespread flooding and that homes and businesses will be damaged. In figure 6 a primary effect was that nearly 2,000 people were killed and over 100 were missing. When Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines, over 6,000 people were killed and over 40,000 homes were damaged. Heavy rain hit the region, causing widespread flooding. In this response, I've clearly referred to figure 5, I've clearly referred to figure 6, I've shown my own knowledge by talking about Typhoon Haiyan, I've included some of my own statistics about Typhoon Haiyan, and I've tried to mention a few times in my response the words primary effect, which is what the question was asking me to consider. Let's take a look at a checklist that we can implement when we look at figure questions. Whenever you have a question that asks you to refer to figures, take a moment to look at the photographs. What can you actually see? Read any newspaper articles. What information can you gather from it? Always ask yourself, why has the examiner included this newspaper in my exam paper? What are they asking me to find? What do you know from your own studies? Always start your response with, in figure X or figure X shows. You could equally start with, the article states that, but you have to make it clear to the examiner that you are using the photographs or the newspaper. Then talk about your own knowledge. Be clear to state where you've studied and if possible include specific data. Always try to refer back to the question. Make sure the examiner knows that you're writing about primary effects or immediate responses. Use the question to help guide your answer. I hope this information has been helpful. My name's Mrs Wingham and you've been listening to Geography Rocks.